Welcome back everyone. Without any further delay, I'd hand over the proceeding back to Admiral Lamba. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Divya. Divya has given me a timer and a bell. Okay, so we are on, on the bell. Mr. Prakash, can I request you to make your presentation? I will not, I will not give you a chance, sir. Hi. <coughs> it was very, uh, I think, a proud moment for me to be present among this August gathering. Thanks to Admiral Chauhan for inviting me here and Admiral Namar for chairing this uh, August panel and distinguished panelists, uh, officers, uh, my friends. Uh, I'm here to present uh, uh, a scenario of where the space sector getting getting involved, and I'll try to finish my presentation uh, within time. <coughs> uh, so the, the topic is given to me is the privatization of space-based surveillance and security implications thereof. Uh, to start with, uh, I have a... Uh, Well, thank you. Uh, so uh, as an introduction, uh, uh, the arena of space-based surveillance has traditionally been a stronghold of a government and military entities, ensuring controlled and secure involvement over the year. Recent alteration in India's space policy signaled a departure from tradition, opening avenues for heightened private sector involvement. The privatization of space-based surveillance represents a seismic shift in the geopolitical dynamics of Indo-Pacific, particularly in the realms of maritime trade and connectivity. Traditionally governed by government and military entities, the surveillance landscape from space is witnessing a transformative phase with increasing participation for private entities, while the shift holds promises of enhanced innovation and commercialization. It simultaneously introduced security concerns such as reduced government control, data security, and its potential for global power imbalances. The Indo-Pacific, a powerful hub for maritime trade, emerged as a focal point where the amalgamation of privatizations, security considerations, and geopolitical interest will significantly influence the future of regional connectivity and strategic dynamics. What are the advantages for uh, having a privatization role? Uh, the Indian space policy echoes uh, by the Prime Minister. The vision makes, marks a paradigm shift in space sector by embracing private sector and youth involvement. It champions self-reliance, innovation, and collaboration with industry and startup. Fostering an environment conclusive to research, development, and entrepreneurship. The policies Condo store in India a journey toward the self-reliance and reaching new height in space exploration, technology, applications, specifically the policy outlines the following advantages. <coughs> it provides market access, emphasize on greater private sector private participation, opens doors for foreign satellites from in Indian market, increase private sector involvement, expected a drive surge in demand for sp space and satellite services broadens customer base and unlocks significant market potential. Aligned with global trends of space sector commercialization, fostering collaboration and innovation, the potential for entrepreneurs and investors to play a substantial role in shaping Indian space capabilities. While defense might not directly generate revenue, it can provide initial inputs to the growth for the space sector. The government's role in supporting private sector involvement is must. It creates a collaboration opportunity immensely. Privatization fosters collaboration and partnership between Indian and global entities in the space sector. Foreign firms can form strategic alliances with Indian counterparts, leading to joint ventures, technology shape, sharing, knowledge exchange. Such collaboration enhances the reach and capabilities of foreign operation in the Indian space market. Aligned with the global trends of fostering international cooperation for space exploration and technological advancement, 
The, this opens a possibility for collaboration in space exploration missions, the development of advancement technology for space exploration. It also increases uh, commercialization, private companies' eligibility, introduce healthy competition, fostering innovation in space technologies. Startup serving is a vital catalyst in the ever evolving space technology landscape, contributes significantly to space exploration and commercialization. Noteworthy, development include emergence of private space companies like Pixel and Agricool, focusing on affordable satellite launches. These companies contribute to democratization of space access, particularly appealing to startups and research institutions. Additionally, India witnessed increased activity in Earth Observation Service with companies like Satshore and Skyroot leveraging satellite data for application ranging from agriculture to disaster response. The space tourism sector is gaining attention and companies ex exploring sub suborbital flight for civilian collaboration and partnership, both domestic and international, are fostering innovation and expanding the capabilities of India's space industry. While the Indian government supports for the private sector active involvement in space activity, the country's space and satellite sector is poised for further growth and diversification. This will also uh, provide advanced service technology. The private fund emerges as a potential democratizer, widening access to advanced surveillance technology across diverse spectrum of uses. In within, applications span high resolution image, advanced satellite communication system, and sophisticated data analysis tool, amplifying capabilities for comprehensive monitoring. The, the evolving landscape for technology accessibility holds transformative potential with private entities control, contributing to a more inclusive and innovative space exploration. <coughs> it also uh, reduces government control and risk. Uh, the privatization may lead a shift from exclusive government control over space-based surveillance to a scenario where private entities operate and control these systems. This shift raises concern about accountability, oversight, and potential misuse of surveillance data for private entities. Dependence on private companies for critical surveillance functions can pose national security risk, especially if these companies are foreign-owned or if their interests do not align with those of the hosting nation. Security concerns and challenge and risk privatization Transition from exclusive government controlled private entities raises concern about accountability and responsible data use in realm of space-based surveillance. Depending on foreign-owned private companies may pose risk, prompting a critical evolution of partnership is safeguard national security. Questions surrounding data uses, privacy, and unauthorized access underscore the imperative of robust international regulation, governments, space-based surveillance activities. Through privatization and proliferation of satellite heightened collusion risk necessitate the establishment of enhanced regulation to ensure effective space traffic management. The privatization of space-based surveillance has the potential to create power imbalances among nations, influencing diplomatic relations based on disparity in surveillance capabilities. The dual-use nature of surveillance technology presents challenges in distinguishing between civilian and military applications. Demanding clear de delineation to mitigate risk. Ethical concerns surrounding the deployment of technology with dual use application must be systematically addressed to uphold ethical standard and norms. So uh, the dual-use technology in government is sacrificing space situational awareness, the ascent of dual-use technology in <coughs> dual -use technology against uh, 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 the uh, uh, space uh, exemplify the industry gains like SpaceX unlock unprecedented collaboration opportunity in avenue of growth. The light of India burgoing space sector poised to reach 150 billion, the defense sectors assume the pivotal role aligning with the potential of substantial growth. The discussion underscores the escalating importance of space situational awareness, emphasizing the potential of dual-use satellites capable of serving both military and civil purposes.
purposes. <coughs> the coordination and collaboration, uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, there are a number of uh, uh, examples which has set forth by the government is enhance the collaboration among the private industry, is through extensive MEU with 40 nations provide avenues for collaboration between foreign operators and ISRO. This collaboration contributes to global advancement in technology and space capabilities, showcasing India's commitment to presenting developing nations in technology development. The Department of Space actively engaged in international efforts, providing critical remote sensing satellite data for disaster management and supporting substantial development goals. Foreign SATCOM operators have opportunity to participate in cooperative initiative by DOS, contributing to global space governance and program. Emphasizing India's active role in international space cooperation, fostering a spirit of collaboration, information sharing, and collective efforts of the betterment of the humanity. It's, it all uh, creates a, a regulatory challenge, and this required a robust regulatory framework. Uh, it, it requires international compliance, the global nature of uh, space activity necessitates a harmonized approach to regulation ensuring compliance with international treaties and uh, agreements pose a significant challenge. The regulatory framework must address issues related to data sharing, orbitals, debris, mitigation, and space traffic management in alignment with international norms while safeguarding sovereign interest. Compliance assurance the dynamic and evolving landscape of private space surveillance demands robust mechanism for oversight and compliance assurance. Government need effective tools and process to monitor the activities of private entities, ensuring adherence to established regulation and standards. International collaboration is crucial to address challenges that extend beyond national borders. It's required policy adoption. Policymakers face the ongoing challenge adopting regulation to keep pace with the technological advancement in space-based surveillance, the rapid evolution of satellite technology, artificial intelligence, and data analytics requires policy that are flexible, forward-looking, and capable of accommodating innovation while maintaining regulatory control and ethical standards. It's required uh, data security and privacy. The pri private entities engage in space-based surveillance. The protection of sensitive data becomes paramount. <coughs> Formulating policy and address data security private concern, privacy concern and responsible use of surveillance information is a critical aspect of regulatory challenges, striking balance between security imperatives and individual privacy right is a delicate yet essential risk. The major challenge poses space debris mitigation. The growing presence of satellite in the orbit raises concern about space debris, regulatory private entities to adhere to part Practices that mitigate space debris creation and ensures responsible satellite disposal is a challenge developing policy and incentivizing in sustainable practice and penalizing responsible behavior is crucial for a long-term orbital sustainability. It requires a spectrum assignment policy. Uh, it requires regulatory certainty. Uh, this is also obviously in the case of space as in the case of shipping. <coughs> By managing spectrum involves a delicate balance of st stakeholder needs, evolving technology, and global competitiveness. In the microwave range, concerns suffer regarding insufficiency in exclusive spectrum auction, which are contracts uh, with the def effective spectrum sharing among satellite operators. The recommendation is for no noise spectrum assignment through administrative challenge following ITU directives and global best practices. This approach considers both national priorities and the in an interconnected nature of satellite service, emphasizing the importance of international collaboration. Uh, this is my last slide. I will try to finish in the next three, three minutes, three to four minutes. Uh, the, what is way forward for, for us that is required liberalize uh, uh, FDI policy forthcoming liberalized foreign direct investment policy is poised to play a private role in, in, in interesting global funding and nurturing international collaboration within the Indian space sector expected in the coming months. This policy aims to create an environment conducive to increase foreign investment, thereby fostering growth, innovation, and competitiveness. It's required deep tech startup policy and upcoming policy focused on dis 
deep tech startup is in the pipeline geared towards providing significant impetus to startup operating in a domain of cutting edge technology. This policy is designed to foster deep tech startup ecosystem, offering sport incentive and conducive regulatory framework to promote innovation and technological advancements. The required spectrum policy currently under consideration will have far reaching implication of space based Services, this policy will determine whether spectrum allocation of space services will follow administrative license or auction mechanism. The outcome of will significantly influence accessibility and utilization of the space the spectrum resources within the space sector, in, impacting the deployment of efficiency of space based services. This requires service. Uh, space bill activity, currently we don't have any uh, space uh, uh, bill. We have only space policy. Uh, it's notable development on the horizon of introduction of space bill act activity, activity, space activity bill. The legislation is anticipated to provide comprehensive framework to re regulating various aspects of space activities addressing issues such as liability, licensing, safety, and compliance. The enactment of the law is expected to bring clarity and structure of legal aspect of space-related endeavor in the country. So what are the key takeaway points? Uh, we, uh, what we require is a continuous monitoring, implementing a system of continuous monitoring of stay abreast of development of space perseverance and ensuring a regulatory framework in, remain responsive. It is required dynamic field acknowledging the dynamic nature of space based surveillance and proactively adopting policies to incorporate technological advancement and maintain relevance. It is required te technological advancement, uh, regulatory updating policies aligned with the technology advancing, granting that regulation evolve in tandem with the capabilities of space based surveillance. It is required ongoing debates, recognizing that debate for the private security and regulatory challenges are open, ongoing, fostering an environment for open discussion and continuous improvement. It is required multi stakeholder involvement, encouraging collaboration among government, private entity, and international organizations to collectively address the multifaceted challenges posed by privatization of space based surveillance. Multi acknowledge the introduction of complexity in technology, economic, security, regulatory, global, and ethical dimensions, the adopting of holistic approach in addressing these challenges. It's required potential benefits uh, and risk to mitigate, balancing the potential benefits, innovation, and enhance capability with the substantial challenges to security, privacy, and international relation, and adopting measures to mitigate associate risk. It's required balanced framework, developing a balanced and adopting regulatory framework that is continuously informed by monitoring and stakeholder collaboration. This framework should be designed to harness the potential and advantage of providence while effectively mitigating this. Thank you very much.